I was born in Matthews County on November 9, 1833. As a young girl, I was active in restoring the church and tending to the sick. When my father died, my mother moved our family to Richmond. Later on, when the war broke out, I was only 28 years old. When all of the sick and wounded soldiers started to arrive in Richmond after the Battle of Bull Run, I opened a hospital at the home of Judge John Robertson. At this time, President Jefferson Davis made a law stating that the military hospitals must be under military command. Since the hospital did such a wonderful job, President Davis commissioned me as an officer of the Confederate Army. As I was growing up, the loss of my father had a large impact on my life. When my family moved to Richmond, we started to find hope. Ever since I was a young girl, I've always been very involved with the Episcopalian Church and taking care of the sick. Once the war broke out, I knew what I had to do. During the war, I worked at the Robertson Hospital. The Robertson Hospital treated patients during the entire war. The hospital during its four years treated 1,333 wounded soldiers with only 73 deaths. This was the lowest mortality rate of any military hospital during the war. The men who I treated often called me Captain Sally. After the war, I continued charity work until my fortune was gone. Before the war, I grew up in a large house with my family and a few slaves, one of which helped raise me as a young girl after my father died. Her name was Phoebe. I started the hospital in Richmond to help anyone in need, free or not. As time went on, I became the first woman to be a part of the Confederate Army. After the war, my thoughts didn't much change because I was not extremely passionate about either side in the conflict. When I died, I was a resident of the Confederate Women's Home in Richmond and was buried with military honors. <laughs>